Yo, let's get straight into it, man. YB did an interview with Billboard, man. Y'all know he don't do no interviews. Y'all know he don't really do too much talking in controlled environments. So let's hop straight into it, man. If y'all like the video, make sure y'all leave a like, comment, share the video, subscribe. Let's hop straight into it, man. Let's see what YB talking about with Billboard, man. This crazy. We don't never get to see bro on camera other than his video. So let's see what's going on. I do want to feel positive about myself though one day. Like, all right, you did it. Nothing's wrong with you. You okay to walk this earth? You not a bad person. You not someone who's fucking it up. Damn, bro. That's crazy. Every time I hear him, you know what I'm saying, in his songs, you know, I can get this sense, but hearing him say it, it feel different. Like hearing him actually like, like verbalize it up in a way other than music. It's crazy. You're not a bad person. You're not someone who's fucking it up. No, I bust brains. I'm just curious on the man that I'm going to become. I ain't gonna lie, this interview dope, like, the visual, cause like, the scenery in Utah, that shit hard, I ain't gonna lie. I think I grew out of liking music, like, the love for it. But it's like, it's therapy. It's the only way I can express myself. And as I sit down behind the mic and just let things flow out of my mouth, I feel relieved. Mm. Man, man, you can hear the pain in his voice, bro. You can hear the pain in his tone. I was people gonna joke, but that shit is serious, bro. Flooded with millions of dollars from the time I was 16 all the way to this point in my life. And I woke up one morning and I was like, damn, they got me. Man, look at the shit I spoke about. Look at the shit I put in these people's ears. Man, I feel. Oh my God, you saw that man ain't shaking? The shit I spoke about, look at the shit I put in these people's ears. Man, it's I crazy. feel there. Man got anxiety, bro. I don't know about a lot of things. How many lives I actually am responsible for when it comes to my music? How many kids and people have gotten a call or put this shit in their ears and actually went hurt someone? And now I'm sitting back like, damn, I can't do it all in one day, but I promise to clean whatever I can clean but it's gonna take time one day at a time bro real shit one day at a time man you can't you can't write all your wrongs in one you know what I'm saying in one sweep bro you gotta you gotta focus on one thing at a time to build yourself up you gotta break yourself down to build yourself up that's a fact I actually want to get rid of all of these cars. I can't drive any of them. I think I'd rather just fill my garage with antique cars until I do get a little freedom where I could double back and purchase some of these while I could have my fun in. My boy got a cigar. That's crazy. A cigar is wild. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> and that's my accountant, Miss Quintina, making sure I handle the money I was blessed with properly. I can feel when he needs me to be that. And so that accounting hat, I take it off when he needs me to be human, when he needs somebody to talk to. Whatever he needs me to be, that's what I am for him. Well, my grandmother was my everything. That was my protection, my comfort. This is my angel, my protector. So as she died, I seen like just this very big difference inside everything. Like he got a big heart. Nobody love you like grandma love you, bro. Real shit. For real, for real. Grandma love different, dog. Even even different from like mama love. Like he love people. Like if he love you, he love you. You know what I mean? Montana. <laughs> Who that, Chris James? Good friend. Brought him over to me. 
And after one session, he was just like, man. Oh, I'm sad, yeah. bro. He just need positive energy around him, bro. And if he keep, you know what I'm saying, with the music, with the positive music, it's all going, everything going to shift. He just need positive energy, positive vibe, positive people around him. He doesn't really mess with nobody, but he like you. He's like, I don't know what that is. So it was just kind of natural, like, just our chemistry and our bond just kept growing and kept growing. And I consider him a brother. I'm not famous. I don't think about it. I just have a lot of people that know me, I guess. I'm terrified of people. I am very scared of people. Oh, that's, whoa, this took a turn. I ain't gonna lie. Look at this man, bro. That's crazy. It man shook. It made anxiety through the roof. I am very scared of people. Like all my kids. I am terrified of people. And I am very shy. But I never knew why once I walk on the stage, I could get it done and leave. But I am terrified of people. Bro, all the, all the most like crazy, most talented people, like the craziest, not crazy, but like crazy talented people. I like this, bro. Michael Jackson, Prince, soft spoken, bro. Him, even like to a degree, like even though Tupac had that other side to him, he was still like a soft spoken dude when he wasn't, you know what I'm saying, on his on his revolutionary shit. So that's crazy to see this nigga like talking. It's crazy. People are cruel. It's like can't control ourselves. So you never know what someone will do you. Hurt people hurt people, man. Always, you know, he knew what he was doing and what he had going on and his music and his buzz and and I uh, was impressed with what he achieved being from where we're from. And I mean they they are some of the hardest working people in the music business. I think his legacy will be himself. He's not gonna be compared to anybody. He's setting the tone and standing out by his work ethic. I always wanted to be a rapper. This was always my dream. I never had a plan B. This is what I was set on becoming. That's what it was. Mm. That's crazy, man. To have that much talent and no light. I don't got no plan B. This is the plan. I got to go through with this. That's crazy that you can have that much talent. And you got to be able to produce, too. Like, he got enough music in the vault. You know what I'm saying? To have that mind process, that thought process, like, to know that you going to just be that one. Ain't no plan B. You got to be able to do, to do the work, too. He knew he could do the work. But it was. That shit beautiful. You can't That's be on crazy. top forever. You know? There's always to be another artist. But there'll never be another young boy. I will not be provoked. Nah, that's a fact. Broken, and I'm not going back to where I used to be. Accept it or not. I ain't going back. Nah, that, that's what's up, though. For real. I like this. I, I like this shift, man. I only get more groovy from here. That I walk out this door, it's gonna be a whole lot of doing. That's hard. He finally getting the recognition he deserved, man. Cover a billboard, that's hard. That's tough. I'm rocking with it, man. I like it, you know what I'm saying? You get to see the vulnerable side of him, man. Other than the music, cause we know he's vulnerable in his music, but we actually get to see him the person. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, man, but you know, I feel like I said enough. 
If y'all like this video, make sure y'all leave a like, comment, share the video, subscribe, man. Let me know y'all thoughts on this interview and y'all thoughts on, you know, on YB shifting the culture, shifting his life. Y'all drop down in the comments, man. Until next time, I'm not fire ace. I'm gone.